previously. Look at him chasing after me. You pathetic little bastards, mate. <gasps> what is that? Is that a lobster? What lobster? Something down here. There's something down here. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. I don't know what to expect in this. <laughs> Whoa, dude. I'm gonna go down and be quick. Thermal plant fragment. Holy shit, dude. What is all this? Alright, I'm out of here. Rock puncher. They sound dangerous. They sound dangerous. I'm gone. <laughs> Dude, what a discovery, man. What a discovery. This game keeps blowing my mind. All right, let's keep moving on. That is amazing. So, I found a mining plant. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is amazing. I wish you guys could understand what it's like when these noises and these little jump scares happen, man. My whole body freaks the fuck out for like a split second. Dude, I just can't believe how deep all this goes. I hit a fish. And I was afraid to explore any of this without a sea truck. Like, no way was I swimming around in this kind of open water. It just... Even though... <gasps> Whoa! Even though you know you're safe-ish? It still scares the shit out of you. Holy fuck! What is this? Oh, that's the coolest, man. Whoa. Look at those jellyfish, dude. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, <laughs> whoa. Maximum depth reached. Pile damage imminent. Look how many there are. Oh my god. They are everywhere, dude. Whoa! What the fuck, man? What is the purpose of this? This is fucking crazy. Another mind-blowing moment this episode. Holy shit. Whoa, that is amazing. Let's see what more we can find. This is so cool having a sea truck, man. I absolutely love it. What's this? Excuse me. What is this? Oh, it goes... Wait a minute. What is that? Mysterious ice wall. <laughs> cool. No idea what that one is. Wait a minute. What? Did I find a land area? No way. Whoa. Pouch bulb. Interesting. Glacial bulb. Oh, there's a cave there. Ooh, bruh. So much has changed in one episode, man. There's fucking flying things. What? Whoa. Oh, shit. That makes you warm. That's dope. I like it. I like it. Bruh, this is... This is dangerous weather approaching. Blowing my Seek mind. Shelter. Blowing my mind. Okay, hang on. I want to go back to that cave. It's just over there. I should be okay. But... <laughs> what in the fuckery? What? Heat fruit. an ion cube. The fuck? 
Whoa! Whoa, dude! Oh my god! <laughs> that looks so cool! Oh, I love how they've done that! Oh man, that's beautiful. What is this artifact? What the hell is going on here? Hang on. Oh, it's telling me to scan it. Quantum Locker. Energy Generator. Bro, this is cool, man. This is so cool. Silver Ore, just chilling. That is trippin', dude. That's sick. Inventory full. Wow, the Cave of Wonders. Dude, that is amazing. One last look at this. <laughs> that is so clever. Seek fluid oh shit, I need to drink water. Alright, I need water. I actually have water on me. Body heat plus 50, food and H2O. Oh dude, that's pretty insane. Alright, so we can explore for a little bit longer. Oh shit, that's the blizzard. Whoa, man. Okay. So I got another artifact now. Holy. Alright, so unfortunately I haven't found any new resources yet. I really, really wanted to find some new resources. I was hoping that I might find some of the stuff that I need for these upgrades. But at the moment, nothing so far. That's amazing, dude. That was really, really cool. Alright, I'm gonna check out this Delta base dock and then head back. Okay, so I'm beginning to think, unfortunately, because I don't know the location of all of the resources that I need, I probably won't be able to upgrade my sea truck for a while. However, the sea truck has definitely opened up some avenues for exploration and is allowing me to visit places I didn't think I would explore for a long, long time. So I'm very, very excited about that. I'm really keen to just keep checking out the map now. What is this? There's just so much weird stuff going on on this map. It's crazy. This is cool. Everything just makes me so curious. Those rock punches are so weird looking. Whoa! Whoa ho ho! That's some hot air, baby. I seriously wonder where I'm gonna find those resources. I haven't seen anything new just yet. It's possible that I've missed a couple, but nothing obvious so far. Alright, Delta base dock. Dude, what? It's right there. Whoa. Oh shit, that was a beacon. Oh, that's cool. That looks acidic. <laughs> Bro. A PDA. From Fred. I don't care if you lost it. I don't even care if you stole it. All I care about is where it is now, so that I can file it. If it's been disintegrated, I need to see the pile of dust. There are maybe 10, 20 different installations within a few kilometers of here. Anything they send to the Vespa, it comes through here. I see truckloads of diamonds, radioactive substances, even that alien stuff they keep in the locked crates. I don't think I'll be exploring here just now. I'm gonna put that beacon back down. That's gotta be it for this episode, I reckon. I'm gonna head back, head back to base, and we'll call it there. Man, whew. So much interesting shit. So I found an underwater mine that goes way deeper than we can go right now. So that's super exciting. I will definitely be checking out what's going on there. I also found a really interesting cave and uh, and it looked like there was much more to that area as well, but I wasn't able to explore because of the blizzard. And what I just found on that uh, Delta base dock, what I just found in that Delta base dock was what looked like some sort of a base, like a, uh, I mean, I think it was a rocket base or something. So what, probably the place where they send rockets to the spaceship that would be like our off-planet station. Very interesting. So I'm pretty curious to see what that has to do with the story and whether there's any links to any of the things that I'm finding to what the story is going to uncover for us. So, man, so excited. Hold up a second. Discuss an aspect of architect culture. How Alan relates to... Oh my god, I didn't... I didn't fucking read it again. <laughs> 
how Alan relates to his own people and whether humanity tends to behave in similar, similar or different ways. All right. Fuck yeah, we're back home. That is it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I had a bunch of fun this episode. We found some really interesting stuff and the sea truck has seriously opened up this game for us in so many ways. It's allowing us to explore all of the areas that we wouldn't have bothered exploring because it's either too deep or too dangerous. And goddamn, am I excited to find out what else is going on in the depths. If you've enjoyed today's episode, please be sure to leave a like. It always helps with the YouTube algorithm and make sure you subscribe. I'll be continuing this series until I finish the whole game and we'll always have weekly videos to look forward to. So hope you enjoyed. Peace.